right, friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G, and look how absolutely unreal, incredible, astounding these Marvel Legends action figures look. This is from the brand new Venom line uh, wave that we have out, and I am just so excited to show you how incredible it is. And, you know, as you're gonna learn, this one and this one are not officially part of the Builder Figure set, but uh, this is a complimentary piece, and so is that one. So you're not gonna wanna miss this. But guys, let's go ahead and dive right on in. Look how absolutely wonderful they look. The packaging, everything. So let's go ahead and get started. But before we dive right on in, if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you get notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know where in the world you are watching from. Give us a big thumbs up if you like Venom, and if you like these Venom action figures. So guys, what do you say we go ahead and get started? Right now. What is up, Vincent GG? Vincent GG, Super Channel G. Super Channel G. GG. Vincent GG from Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Vincent GG on Super Channel G. So tight. Don't stop doing what you're doing. Congratulations on all your success. Congratulations on everything. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Super Is this great? All right, friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G, and look what we have for you here today. The brand new, uh, it's the brand new wave of Venom and Symbiote action figures. These are, of course, Marvel Legends by Hasbro. And let's see who exactly is in this set. So we have Venom, Morbius, Carnage, Phage, Miles Morales, and Ghost Spider. And man, do they all look absolutely incredible and you know there's a couple more outside of this because there's definitely a venomized um, Captain America but he's not directly in this set he's more of an exclusive and then also Marvel's toxin doesn't that look absolutely great so if we take a closer look um, you'll notice that um, this venom right here the movie venom is being shipped with this set but is not officially part of this build a figure wave and this builder figure wave creates Venom Pool. And look how absolutely astonishing that looks. It looks incredible. And it's actually kind of interesting to see a set that only requires five to build. Because usually it's, you know, an arm and an arm in one, and then a leg and a leg. But this one actually has both legs in this one. So I'm pretty excited to get this one going. And what we're gonna do is basically focus on the core set, and we're gonna add Venom anyway. The movie Venom. Notice the box doesn't even match, but um, he matches the movie, but not this set. And then you know what? Can you let us know if you want us to add Marvel's Toxin? If not, we'll do him separate. And then maybe you know what? Then make a compilation of both videos. So you let us know in the comments. So what do you say we go ahead and get started? And don't you want to go in order? Let's do it. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm getting a little too excited. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I should tell you how excited I'm dropping everything. All right, friends, so I'm super excited to actually get started with this movie, Venom. It looks absolutely great. I've been dying to get this figure, actually this whole set, but man, look at that sick tongue. <laughs> and there's two heads, so I'm so excited about that. Swappable hands, again, excited about that. And it just looks absolutely incredible. This box, matches the movie perfectly does not match this set at all and this is a leadoff figure and looks so great and look at this action shot of the action figure back here it looks incredible so um the artwork looks great and um in case you need the upc so you're looking for this action figure you know what let me zoom in and then take a sh shot right here boom all right that way you can use it to find them anyway we're gonna go ahead and get started and let's see Let's see what the back says for this movie, Venom. It says, Failed reporter Eddie Brock is hijacked by an alien entity that takes a liking to Earth and decides to protect it. Absolutely. Man, look at that sick tongue. All right, let's get him open. Let's take him out. 
and let's see how absolutely incredible this action figure is. And to be honest, it looks taller than the Venoms we've had in the past, which is great. And maybe not necessarily the um, uh, the Monster Venom, but this one looks great. Look at that. I love that little like smoke fog in the background. Set this aside. And I love how he's definitely got like tall legs instead of little stumpy ones that, that the Monster Venom had. But look at this. Let's get everything out of here. Let's take a look at this um, swappable head. Wow, I love how his mouth comes all the way out to here. We have a little bit of paint bleed right here. Definitely gonna take that off later if I can just scrape that off. But either way, let's see. It's kind of coming off. Should be fairly easy. But um, in any event, how great this looks look how the teeth look they look absolutely incredible so I'm gonna put this head back in here and let's take out our venom out from the back and he definitely looks tall compared to other Marvel Legends we've had in the past for somebody who's supposed to be normal height but look at this head man I'm digging this head sculpt look at that and I kind of wanted to get two of them so that I could perhaps take the tongue out and make it either shorter or not have it just having an open mouth without the tongue sticking all the way out but look how great that looks I wonder how much um, we can pose this head with it kind of being restricted right here let's see probably about that much because look I was having to push the jaw and I definitely don't want to do that we can push it down I don't want the jaw to break definitely tilts and turns as much as we want it just doesn't go very far up and very far down because of this part that restricts it right here let's see man this is a tight shoulder and it clicks look at that it's definitely got that chunky feel that feels like it's gonna hold up well look at that okay so it definitely comes out at a 90 degree angle and probably a little bit further past look at that okay moves up here the high part of the bicep we do have double joints at the elbows and great joints at the elbows. So look how far the arms come in. And look at that joint. This looks absolutely incredible. So practically a mirror image here. I'm digging these hands. Look at that. And the wrists go in and out and around really well. Look at that. And I love how he's got that like white symbiote vein going like coursing through his body. Look at that. So this looks like it's going to pose really well. Um, it would have been nice to have had a butterfly joint right here to be able to bring the arm even further forward, but that's all right. And then look, interesting that we have an ab crunch and we have this part right here that moves and turns at, at the rib cage, which is we typically only see one or the other. We definitely don't see both, but I did notice that we don't turn at the waist, which is definitely where you normally turn. So that's interesting. But, um, you know, I don't know if it would have been too much to ask for to still turn at the waist <laughs> to get a little more lifelike action, but man, look at that. These legs pose really well, especially because he's super muscular. That looks absolutely incredible. So it's got really great um, uh, posability right there at the hips. Legs come up pretty high. Look at that. Wow. And then we can definitely um, ab crunch well. So that looks great. Let's see. Uh, it moves really well at the high part of the thigh. They have chunky uh, knees right here. So this feels like a quality bend right here. Doesn't feel like um, like it's you know loose or anything. That feels great. This feels awesome. And then look at this. We don't have that joint right here, which I hate. Because it's unnecessary and doesn't allow you to pose your action figure very accurately but um, man that looks awesome so this looks very unique to um, to the movie so that looks absolutely outstanding this is gonna be a great action figure to add to our spider-man line look at that and definitely for our symbiote collection so and he's super tall and that's like my absolute favorite part about it. Look at that. I'm going to see if I can find another Venom so I can show you just how tall he is. 
Let's do that. And then of course we have two fists here. I said I'm gonna take everything out, but I'll just give you a glance because I don't think I need two fists going. I wanna have these open claw-like hands. So that looks incredible. Let me get closer and then I'm gonna show you. Let me see if I can go find a Venom right now. Give me a second, guys. Okay, so it looks like I got a special treat for you guys. So I brought a few Venoms and I brought a few Spider-Men. Looks like I had them ready and they should be in their boxes and they weren't. They were still in the big um, bin of toys. So, all right, I'm gonna zoom on out and let's take a look. So let's move these over here. Now, definitely want you to see how incredible this looks. All right, so here is Eddie Brock right here. And these two Venoms I'm about to show you right now are roughly the same action figure, okay, roughly. And notice, this Venom is standing all the way up and he's barely as tall as this one that's, um, this movie one. So let's see, I'm gonna have him like this, and let's see if I can get a similar pose and show you how it, this is like definitely a big deal. Arms are longer, legs are longer, and if we had him doing that pose, it would definitely not be the same. Look how much shorter he would be. And then the fact that we got like boots or whatever here just doesn't give the same effect. You can have him like leaning over. He's just significantly smaller. Look at that. There we go. Look at that. What do you think about that? Okay. And since this other Venom is roughly the exact same figure. And I have him here with fists though. Um, I'm not gonna bother putting him in there at all. You'll see how tall he is. And then of course we have our Monster Venom right here. He's got that purple tint. And this was the Build-A-Figure Monster Venom. So this is a lot different from uh, from this one, but of course this is Monster Venom. And let me see how cool that might look. Let's put him right here. In the there we go. And maybe we'll have him not just having his leg out like that. There we go. Okay. Very cool. Oh, we can't have him stay up. <laughs> there we go, that looks cool. What do you think about that? It's pretty awesome to me. So, in any event, I'm really digging this Venom. This is probably the best Venom I ever had. Now, I like that one more, even more than this Monster Venom. It just looks so great. So, what do you guys think? And then, yeah. I'm gonna move this one because look, look how big it is. I know this is not a. Uh, hey, there we go. Sorry, I lost focus there. I know it's not as huge monster as this one, but he's definitely bigger than that one. And just so we can have an accurate, oops, representation, I'm knocking everything down. I'm gonna have him stand up straight for a second, so we can see exactly how tall he is. Look at this. Okay, cool. And we'll have them back to back. Oops, he's tiptoeing. <laughs> it's a huge difference, huge. Look at that. Not even close. And look at that. Makes him look puny. All right, so we'll set these aside. You get the idea. Let's get our cool pose back and let's have him looking like this again and so 
can show you how big he looks compared to like what if it was iron spider right well here's iron spider and look how small he looks compared to our venom so let's have him standing all the way up and you can see how he's like size wise not even close in comparison so this is our avengers infinity war iron spider and that's him standing all the way up so not even close and then if we have him like in an action pose Again, he's going to look even smaller if I can get him to, to stay with this pose. Look at that! And then if Venom's like grabbing his head or whatever. <laughs> it looks pretty wicked. Look at that. I think that looks pretty sick. Okay, so I did bring the other Spider-Man, as you can see, just in case, but um, you get the idea. It's all pretty much the same. And there we go, two movie Spider-Man. And we'll go ahead and put our Venom right on over here. And we'll set him up right over here. What do you think about that? Okay, awesome. Let's go ahead and, there we go. Get ready for our next action figure. Okay, and next we have Morbius the Living Vampire. And I'm excited because, you know, the new Jared Leto movie that's supposed to be coming out at some point, because, you know, obviously, movies have been pushed back for obvious reasons. But um, I'm excited about that. And this is not the movie Morbius, but this is the comic book one. And it looks really cool. I'm looking at the cape back here. And then this one is going to have the right arm and the swappable hand for our Venom Pool action figure that we're going to build. And let's build a figure. Look how great this looks. Is it the same art on both sides? Let's see. Left hand lower. Left hand lower. Yep. It's the exact same picture. And then look at that. I love the way they've done the theme on this Venom Pool set. So check it out here. Looks like a cool action shot. And then I was like, okay, the head's down because the hair looks flying, like it's flying more. And I'm assuming it's just because the head's up a little bit. But that looks cool. And as I mentioned before, it comes with the right arm of Venom Pool. So let's see what it says back here for Morbius. It says, Michael Morbius, the living vampire, prowls the night tortured by his life-sustaining thirst. Cool. It looks like it's got some great detail here. He's got almost like an Edward Scissorhands type outfit. And let's get this bad boy open. What do you say? Dunk. Okay, so let's take him out. Let's see how he looks. And already looks absolutely great. Why does this feel soft back here? What's going on here? It's like tape or something. Interesting. Okay, let's see why this needs tape. I don't know. Don't know why that would need tape at all. Okay, but look at this really cool Venom pool arm. Look at that. Like staples or something right here. That's cool. I'm gonna set aside that extra pen. That looks cool also. Okay, so let's get our Morbius out. Push him out and carefully push. Oh. Popped right on out. Well, luckily it's as simple as doing this. I was like, I definitely don't want to tear that. Let's put this away and we'll take a look at our Morbus up close. Okay, set that aside and let's bring it in closer. Okay, let's take a look at this head sculpt. And that looks pretty cool actually. Look at that. Let's get a little bit of shadow here so we can see. Um, what the sculpt actually looks like. Look at the hair. That looks cool. I'm digging the way that's like blowing here. The hair is um, 
pretty hard even though it's slightly bendable look it's leaving imprints on my finger because it is like a harder plastic but it still can bend a little bit um, his head moves let's see how far down we can get it to move okay so there we go moves that far up and that far down which is actually a lot more than I anticipated tilts a little bit turns really well look at that and I'm digging this leather outfit actually believe it or not let's see does he turn at the waist he sure does has a decent ab crunch digging this little pocket <laughs> and this little snap right here his arm moves smoothly all the way around um, and then it goes beyond a 90 degree angle as far as the shoulder going back there we go Ugh! I want to support it because I don't want to crack it off here so I'm pushing right here on the shoulder because it wasn't oh see if I push too hard it's gonna crack off right here so I need to push in on the shoulder you definitely do not want to crack the arm off of Marvel Legend which it's not as hard as you think believe it or not when it's stuck like that okay so let's see we got double joints here at the elbow again wonderful so you can get better posing and turn right here at the wrist it goes back and forth these things are actually pretty soft look at that It'd be cool if this hair was like that but either way let's see this one's a lot looser at least at the, at the bicep and at the elbow and then again almost a mirror image of that hand I mean sorry of that arm and hand and then we have this really cool um, off purple um, cape right here that just goes like that and it's all tattered and torn looks kind of cool and then let's see the belts right here they look kind of cool I'm digging this action figure overall and let's see you know he's got skin tight leather pants and his legs come you know well forward and we got some pretty decent knees because it hits right here it doesn't allow it to come further than that I'm trying to push it but it doesn't hitting there and look doesn't go to take that off real quick because it hits right there it's got a little lip which is interesting because it should come in further it's a little unfortunate that it only comes in that much interesting so you know what even if it didn't hit there it hits right here let me zoom in so you can see where look it hits right there to the joint on both sides so it's actually not cut to go further than that so that's interesting um, it does have a joint right here but I don't want to loosen it anymore if it's already if it's stuck there I'd rather that stay like that and then we have some pretty good ankles it's clicking so it doesn't smoothly just go but after a couple times it should loosen up a little bit I don't want those super loose anyway okay so this action figure is actually pretty cool look at this man those are some triceps <laughs> look at that bulging triceps and again jack looks cool there's some more belt straps right here that's cool yep cool outfit and so I know we can definitely have him like no just kidding Let's see, um, let's go back to what this looks like. Do we want this pose? It's like, it's trying to scare you? Maybe. Or, let's see. Let me see, give me a second. Okay, so I got something simple, not too understated, but definitely something just there we go we have his hair blowing like that so I'm like we can have his cape kind of blowing like that too look at that we can have him like ready to attack look at that very cool so I guess with the way that is looks best if it's like that but still from the front it looks just fine if it's like that very cool look at that all right so we'll go ahead and set him up over here next to our venom and you know what? let me straighten his foot out there we go very cool all right let's move on
Okay, and next we have <laughs> Carnage. And this package looks incredible. And this definitely looks like a familiar Carnage, but it looks like he's a little more raised veins and stuff going on here with his like tendrils and symbiote stuff going on. I'm digging that he's got two heads here and then it comes with the venom pool head. So that looks absolutely outstanding. And look at that. That looks pretty sick. So I'm same artwork twice. Look at that. Looks absolutely great. And that looks cool too. So again, the build a figure piece. This is Venom. It's number two in the set of five and comes with a head. So, man, that would have been so cool if there were two Venom pool heads, but alas, it wasn't to be. So let's see what it says here about Carnage. It says, Twisted Criminal. Cletus Cassidy sows chaos in the streets as the bloodthirsty villain Carnage. And I'm digging those razor claws. So, again, look how great this set looks. And I'm still surprised. I get it, Venom was a sixth one, but I mean, they could have given us more and I definitely would have jumped at it. The opportunity to buy more in this set. So, wave two, please make it. And I know this is technically like a wave two from two years ago when they had the Venom set. That one was incredible. And well, here we are again. Okay, let's take a look at this. Cletus right here. It's pretty incredible. Look at that. Oh, cool. I like the way they did the feet this time. And definitely didn't do this little like foot like this okay cool let's get a before I forget let's get our venom pool head out let's push that back look at that the purple tongue it looks pretty cool look at that and look at the staples that's a great head okay so let's take a look at both heads here first let's look at this one And you know what? I'm digging it. The orange tongue still looks cool. The teeth kind of still come in a little bit like a, like a, I'm a grandpa kind of teeth, but still look cool. And I love how the black kind of is raised and there's a bang going on right there. Push that back in there. Let's bring out this car. Wow, this is interesting. I don't want them to get stuck in there, so let me push them out there. Okay, let's see what can I do here so I don't tear this. Oof. Oof. Be careful here. Even though it's soft plastic, you definitely don't want it to tear off. Look at that. Okay. Okay. So we'll go ahead and put this on. Man, look at those back muscles, like huge. Okay, so we'll put this right here. And it looks like that makes it even bigger, just bulging out. And let's see this crazy looking skull face right here. I love how it's black and fades to red right here. Very strong pronounced jaw. That looks cool. This is a crazy looking carnage. Okay, look at that. And this definitely feels like a familiar body mold, but it's got this raised, almost like vein going right here. I like how it's got this coming out of the legs. Look at that. Be careful, because that will tear off, because that is soft plastic. Look at that. And we have it right here on the arms. Oh, that's great. So just be careful, because if, if any of that gets caught, in like a joint, because I've had that experience like with um, um, Groot and with um, uh, Monster Venom. It will pinch it to cut it off and you don't want it to tear. So looks like um, I have a soft joint kind of gumming down this way, unfortunately on both sides. So that is a negative, but um, positive we do have extra joint here the butterfly joint that's great we can bring the arms in further in here let's see we have 
double joints at the elbows, so that's absolutely incredible. Lose the high part of the bicep. Let's see how much we can move the shoulders. We can move pretty far back, actually. So that's great. Look at that. Wow. And I'm digging these razor fingers right here. And, um, interesting. I wonder if this is supposed to be open more. Because I would love it to be instead of how it's closed right there, but let's see. The head moves really far back and really far forward and tilts and pivots, so that's great. We got a really strong ab crunch, look at that. Moves at the waist and the legs come pretty far up. So there's, these action figures so far have great posing. Okay, you can almost do the splits. Turns to the high part of the thigh. Yeah. All right, double joints that work really well. Anytime you have a, you know, Spider-Man, Venom, Symbiote, you want them to have absolutely great um, mobility and to pose well. And man, this is super smooth. Look at this ankle. And points and flexes really, uh, really well. Okay, very cool. So, how do we want to pose him? Like standing tall or really like scary leaning over? Let me see, let's see what I can come up with. Nothing super crazy, just something kind of like him being like out of his mind crazy. That's pretty good already, let me take a look. Okay, again, going with something simple. There we go. And there we go. Come down here. And you know what? Let's see if I can find a different Carnage. And I think I put away the Carnage from the Monster Venom set. But I think I have an old Toy Biz Carnage. Give me one second, guys. Let me get him. Well, well, well. Guess I'm slightly more organized than I thought. Look what I found. Dun, 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 dun. Wow. And, well, first, I'll show you this Toy Biz carnage we got going on here. So we can just kind of compare. Look how much this uh, figure has evolved over time. And, of course, you could move. Um, uh, you can move these three fingers together, this one independently, and the thumb independently. And so, that was like kind of crazy and creepy. And then, so, it's definitely a comparable size. This was a Spider Man uh, figure from the Spider Man um, series, as opposed to the direct Marvel Legends, I believe. So, that looks awesome. And then let me tell you, this one right here is so great. And again, look at this packaging. You can almost not even tell the difference, except this says Venom Pool, and this says Monster Venom. Look at the art from the side, just to compare the two. Doesn't that look great? Look at that. I will say this. This Venom, I'm sorry, I'm calling him Venom now. <laughs> I wonder how many times I've done that and haven't caught it. This Carnage, Carnage, I'm sorry guys, Carnage is probably my favorite of the three. This one is cool with that cool new uh, head. But man, look at that. Doesn't that just look incredible? And the fact that it has that. Cletus Cassidy looks great. So you know what, I am gonna take him out for you so you can see just how cool he is. And man, was that an incredible set. Okay, so let's take him out. And this, this one in case you wanna look for this one eventually, is similar, but the red is obviously different and it's not raised. But man, does this blade look incredible? Does that hand look incredible? These tendrils coming off. 
pop that off. And we take him out here. Look at that. And of course, these hands look ridiculous. So this is my favorite uh, carnage before I call him Venom again. But you know what? We can definitely swap these hands out and they would look great. We can swap this part out and it would look great. And look at this. Yes, we can. And those feet look way better. So, I don't know. We could probably swap some pieces around and then find the perfect mix of the carnage that we would want. What do you think? Yes. So, there we are. that Let's see if I can get them posed real quick and it's gonna be a little bit harder to balance them than than I thought because of the blade and it's uh, a little heavier than I remembered but still there we go look at that get them in focus still this brand new one because of the feet and the way the raised veins look the head the new tendrils like still favorite but I would like a mix of the two so you know what before we move on to the next figure why don't I trade the hands and see how that might look right let's move this carnage aside Make sure I'm still saying carnage, right? <laughs> and let's swap these out. Look at this. Let's try this. Oh. Do a little bit of a kit bash right here. <laughs> there we go. There we are. What do you think about that? Now that starts becoming one of the best carnages out there. Jeez, that looks unreal. And if it just had a little bit of black on the hands. That would look great. Look at that. I took a couple pictures, that's why I was on there like that. But, man, again. Okay. So, I'm gonna put him back the way he was, because look at this. <laughs> this would still look really cool if we had these hands. Look at that. But still a great. But let's go ahead and swap them back. And there we are. And let's just be excited that we have both. There we are. Oop. Okay, okay. I was like, uh. Put the wrong hand on the wrong. No, it's not with this too. Okay, great. I hope you enjoyed that. Let's bring this hand up here. And you know, his hips are a little looser than I would have hoped. So there we go. And let's have him straight cold chilling like that. Let me put him right over here. And wow, he's shorter than our Morbius. Okay, so let's set these aside. Let's move on. What do you say? All right, and next we have Phage. And this looks so incredible. Look at this. Again, this build a figure for Venom Pool. That I'm getting more and more excited as we get the pieces off to the side. 
And look how cool this looks. Definitely reminds me of Scream as far as the color, but you know, slightly a bit darker. This one's a little bit more gold than that one, but look how cool that looks. Mirror image art right there. Look at that razor arm right there. So that looks cool. And it comes with both of the legs of our Venom pool. Look how insane that looks. Love that pose. I'm digging that a whole lot right there. And so let's see what it says about Phage. It says, the Phage symbiote gives its host the ability to forge incredibly dangerous bladed weapons to attack its victims. Absolutely. All right, let's get Phage out of there. Like, where, is, where is the tape? Oh, I guess we'll come this way. That was so much easier. Okay. Here we are. Slide this on out. Look at that. Beautiful package. Okay. And let's take a look. And then here's the legs, of course. Our venom pool. Look how cool that looks. Definitely gonna have shorter legs, but huge and muscular, like our um, monster venom. So I assume this goes like that, but it even says right and left right there. Look at that. Look like they just got a key and went. <laughs> okay, set that aside. And wow, yeah, we're definitely gonna want this. Look how sick that looks. Interesting. So I guess this goes on the wrist. It comes out like that. I thought it was gonna be like that, where it's like, <laughs> but it's not. It's like this because that would go on the wrist. Okay, let's get Phage out. And let's get closer. I'm really digging this head sculpt. Look at this. Except for there's some discoloration right here. Other than that, I'm digging the teeth. I'm digging the way this looks right here on the side. I'm digging the way the tongue looks. I'm digging this right here, which looks like, is it glued on? No, it's not. It just pops in there. It looks hollow in there. Look at that. Pops right here. There's a familiar body sculpt. Let's see how much we can move the head. We can move it pretty well. Look at that. I love the way the eyes look. Look at that. I love how they connect like that. Let's see. The arms move pretty well here at the shoulders. Look at that. Turn at the high part of the bicep. Coming well. we got double joints here at the, the elbows, although they don't quite come in too much more than a 90 degree angle. Look at that. We have a little bit of raised part right here. It definitely looks razorish. It's soft plastic, so make sure that you don't tear that off. The wrists go back and forth. And then again, here we are, double joints. Now these double joint, uh, these joints don't feel so solid, it actually feels a little loose. So be careful with that. There we are. And turn well at the waist. We have a really big ab crunch, look at that. Okay. And then the legs do come really far up, look at that happy about that again these knee joints don't appear to be super incredible but they do bend double bend really well great posability look at this I didn't even notice this yet so the sculpt is is pretty good let's see I like the ankles ankles work out well and I wish he had feet like the carnage one look at that instead of these boots looking feet, but anyway, we'll live with it. And then, wow, okay, look at this. It's obviously from a sculpt from 2016 for these feet, and I would say this is from a Venom foot, perhaps. So, let's see, if I had to guess. And then, let's try out that blade. Let's see. Okay, let's see. How about mm, this hand? 
Oh, when I said Venom Foot, not, not that Venom. I'm talking about the older ones that we had on the other video. So let's see if we can just pop this on in here and let's see, these are soft plastic but you don't want to tear it by getting it pinched. So wow, that looks cool, look at that. So, hmm, I'm not 100% sure how I feel about that yet. Looks a little funky, like it's a uh, ink, where I would have much rather this been something we put right there and been a long blade like that. That would have looked cool, look at that. Or maybe even further in like that. So, but anyway, I didn't design it this and we can definitely see how we can get this phage going there we are very cool maybe we'll even have them stand up you know, a strong pose. There we go. The legs are a bit, uh, have a little bit of play in them. It keeps turning here, and then um, they're not staying where I need them. And then they kind of bow in, you see this? Instead of being straight like this, they kind of bow in, so that's not helping. Where the legs would be more like that, they kind of go like that, so I have to push them out first of all but anyway that looks really cool so you know what I won't complain after that let me put this hand away which is actually a pretty wicked looking hands so you can see like the knuckles and stuff but this looks really cool so I'm digging that if I can get in focus there there we go Okay. Very nice. Okay, took a couple pictures, and I'm digging that. So, anyway, I'm gonna put this up so I don't lose it, the hand, and then we will move on to our next action figure. So, you know what? Let me see something. Hold on. Right before we move on. I just figured that maybe you might enjoy seeing Lasher and Scream. Look how incredible that looks. Again, another reason why you don't want to keep them just loose. Because look, over time, now I can heat that up and then hold it. And then um, it'll stay. But uh, nonetheless, why you, you don't want to necessarily keep them loose. Because these are a little more fragile than, you, than they look. But anyway. You see where it's got like a brighter gold, um, yellow, and this is like a darker gold. But very cool, right? Look at that. And this one, you start to pop out. There's very specific ones here that can't really pose them. But, uh, but we have reviewed both of these on our channel. You can go check those out. And you know what? We'll probably add them to this set, you know, really soon. So let me put those aside. And let's keep going. What do you say? Put this one right here. Look at that. Let's bring up this um, carnage. And there we go. Look how cool that looks. All right, awesome. Let's move on. Okay, and so now let's do Miles Morales. And he looks pretty cool. Uh, the only thing I regret is that he has no accessories. Come on. With all the accessories we've been having going on with this set, could I at least have another head sculpt? Something. Give me something. And this is from the Spider-Man Maximum Venom series. Looks so cool. And this is a series where we have popular Marvel characters. Wow, you can see my Venom shirt in the, in the reflection. And so, anyway popular Marvel characters that of course had the Venom um, were hosts the Venom symbiote and look how cool that looks and we have a mirror image right here that's great 
Venom pull, um, build a figure pieces of the left arm and then swappable left hand. So more of a fist and look how cool that looks. Again, here's all the cool action figures in the set. Doesn't show the standalone um, Venom that comes uh, from the Venom movie, but anyway, this one is number four and it comes with the left arm. Look at that. We'll open it up, take a look, and let's see what it says about Miles. So over here, it says, Miles Morales. When the Venom symbiote attaches to Miles Morales, he gains extreme new powers. And wow, super cool. All right, I already got the super strength. I already got the electricity web. <laughs> and then disappearing and so on. So, all right, here we go. Let's get this bad boy open. Imagine with Venom healing power and so on. So let's get this open. And there we are. Pop this out. Let's take a look at this massive arm here. Look at this. There's staples here again. This massive um, uh, venom pool. There we are. To the side. Swap the hand too. Look at that. Very cool. Let's get Miles out. Miles looks super cool. I'm gonna put this packaging away. And let's zoom in. Take a look at our Miles. Wow, cool feet. I like that they have those monster type feet right there. Very, very cool. Look how he's veining out on his head. So I'm digging those razor teeth. That, oh man, <laughs> I dropped him. What in the world? Okay. All right, let's see how far back. The head goes pretty far back. That was kind of awkward though. Head goes pretty far forward. Let's see if we can move it up and back. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Very cool. Instead of it just settling back, because look, that looks weird. That looks cool. That looks weird, but still. Um, there we are. Look at that. We pivot a little bit, turns, and move the chin in and out. That looks great. And then let's see, he does not have the extra butterfly joint here, but um, I like this joint, it moves pretty smooth and holds well. Look at that. Okay, look at his spider symbol. Let's see, his uh, ab crunch goes really far back and forward, turns right here at the waist. Look at this really cool spider symbol. Look how it veins out right there. Let's see, we have double joints on the elbow. So the arm's coming pretty well, more than a 45 degree angle. So that's great. Look at that. I love the hands that are like almost like claws. There we go. And let's see the legs. Coming pretty well, look at that. Now if they were straight, they're further down, but because it has an open lip right there, it kind of brings them in further there. So you can be definitely jumping well. Let's see. These are pretty good double joints right here on the knees. Yep, that looks great. And then um, I'm gonna ignore this one right here because I'm not a fan of that one. But let's see the ankles. Uh -oh. The feet are real soft to move, but the ankles aren't moving. They're turning. I need it to, there we go, to point and flex. Ugh. Oh man, I got it to point well but I'm not getting it to flex back and I definitely don't want to break it like that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna bring it back there we go that's how I was able to uh... wow that didn't work at all I just pushed it more interesting sorry my bad there we go there we go sorry guys just had to loosen it up a bit same thing here See if I can. There we go. Just trying to loosen it up a bit. There we go. I definitely don't want to break it, so you gotta apply pressure in as you push it down. So you know what? Like we did with the other figures. Well, the only part I regret is that he has no accessories. Not even the, the electric web. But give me a second. Look what I have for you. Boom! 
And so this is one of several miles that I have, but this one's uh, pretty cool. Looks like perhaps even the same body, more or less, but of course not venomized. And this one's supposed to be from the movie, so it's got the spray painted symbol, look at that logo. Very cool, huh? So, let's see what we can do. I'm really digging the way these feet look. They look definitely Venom style. And there, something simple. And then we can have this Miles ready to fire off, look at that. There we go. Kind of creeping around like that, look at that. So, kind of so that you can compare these two Miles Morales. Very cool, right? Okay. So I'm super excited about that. And because he doesn't have any additional accessories, there's really not, not a whole lot more to do with him than that. I guess let's take a picture or two. Okay, look at that. You can get focused. There we go. Very cool. Very nice. Look at that. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and move on. You know what? And I'm sorry guys, you know what? I was supposed to show you the, uh, um, man, look how small he looks over here. <laughs> the UPC symbols. You know what? I'll get that for you guys. Right here, and then we'll move on. I haven't done the other ones. Sorry, I was slacking. Slacking. Okay, so, for Miles, where did I put him? It's right here. Oops. Sorry about that. There we are. This is Miles. Let's zoom in. Cool. I forgot about Fage. Uh, yeah, Fage. Put that one going right here. There we are for a moment. Cool. Make sure this is the right carnage. This is the correct carnage. There you go. And then of course, Morbius. And I kind of slacked about that, sorry. There we are. Okay, cool. All right, and I guess, <laughs> just again, to end off with Miles Morales. Very cool. So let's move on. What do you say? That looks so great, doesn't it? Okay, so we have Ghost Spider, and this is the last from the Build-A-Figure set with these five. Of course, we did Venom from the movie Venom, and then we still have to build our Venom pool, and then it's up to you if you want us to do Marvel's Toxin, which is basically from the same little series, kind of a one-off. There we are. And let's take a look at this one. So we'll go ahead and move forward. Look how great that looks. And this one's gonna come with Ghost Spider. It comes with the whole chest, torso, midsection area. So that looks outstanding. And again, this is another Spider-Man Maximum Venom series action figure, and I just love those. Again, your popular, uh, your favorite Marvel heroes that are being host to the Venom symbiote. In this case, this one's gonna be um, Gwenpool, Ghost Spider, you know, Spider Woman. She goes by a bunch of different names. And then, of course, we have our, um, excuse me, Venom Pool right here. So that's kind of the same thing. We got the art here on the side. That looks great. There we are. Looks like she has a lot more white here than our action figure does here, but that's all right. All right, let's get her out. Well, I'm sorry. Let's read the back. Then get her out. Let's see what it says. And look at that really cool um, action pose we got going on right here. 
So this one says, Ghost, Ghost Spider. When the Venom symbiote attaches to Gwen Stacy, she gains extreme new powers as Ghost Spider. Loving it. Take this out. Let's bust her on out of here. And I wish she had this color scheme because from the outside it doesn't look like she's gonna have that color scheme. See, this is her white and pink and then that like blue-green color with a little bit of purple on the inside. Doesn't look like that at all. Looks like she's just full-blown purple everywhere. We'll see. Let's find out. Let's take her out. And first of all, here's this for our Venom pool. Oh, cool. Look at that. The swords and sheath. That looks really awesome. Set that aside. Venom pool, upper body. Well, I guess it's mid and upper. Looks cool, and look at this Deadpool symbol where the eyes are in here in the middle instead of um, push that where they should be. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. And then, oh man, look at this. Like a big tongue just hanging out. The hoodie. Put this together. Set this aside. And then let's take a look at our Spider Gwen Venomize. Set that aside. Cool. Let's get closer in here. And again, she doesn't have any um, uh, accessories either, like our Miles Morales, which is unfortunate, but okay, cool. Man, this is a really cool looking hood that's clearly attached to the head. This is a sick looking tongue that's kind of coming out here. Look at that. It has teeth on it. Look at that. So that looks really cool. It's a little crazy actually. I wish we could pose it like if it had a wire in there, but it does not. Alas, it does not. But that hood looks cool. All right, let's see this little jacket. Little vest jacket deal going on. Man, that looks really awesome. Whoever designed that, look at that. A little broken spider looking picture. So this would come off in case you wanted it to. You can slide it off here, but nah, it looks cool. I like how it has little spikes right here. And then uh, I like these soft little blades right here. Kind of coming out with that veining right here on her forearms. And she's got this spider uh, venom action going right here. And then she turns right here at, at the rib cage. And then, so she doesn't turn on the waist, she turns there. The legs actually don't come so far up on this one. They don't even come to a 90 degree angle, they're kind of leaning back a little bit. Let's see about the shoulders. Shoulders, they do come up well. Look at that, well beyond a 90 degree angle. They turn well, they click well. And then the elbows only come in at a 90 degree angle though. Well, slightly more, so that's cool, because they have a single joint. The wrists go back and forth and around, they go well. This is more of a traditional female body figure. There's a couple that are very similar. Here we are. This is the shorter one versus the taller one. Let me see. For example, we have a Marvel Scream, which is more of the taller version. See? And the taller one has belly button going on. Alright, so. Let's see, got double joints of the knees, so that's great. We can have a great amount of posability there. Um, interesting how it's got the those like ballet shoes with the with that color too, and they're kind of like almost look like they're melting off. That looks cool. And it's like a claw too, like a talon, or like a Jurassic Park toe. And then uh, overall, looks pretty cool. Pretty cool sculpt. And then, um, let's see. How do we want to pose this? Look at the back of the box. Looks like this. So maybe. Let's see. That looks cool. You know, not too unlike 
some of the other ones we've already done like this, but let's bring the bottom joint part of the knee out, not just the top part. And this tongue is kind of not really helping with the pose. There we go. I guess it could, but it's not. There we are. Let's bring the head up a little bit more. There we are. How's that? See if I can get her to stay. There we are. Hopefully it doesn't fall over. Oh! I pushed her on an accident. <laughs> I'm just trying to take a quick picture. You know what? Let's go ahead and have a tail around the leg. I'm sorry, the tongue around the leg anyway. There we go. Let's see if I can get it. There we are. That looks cool. I'm taking some action shots here. Digging that. Okay. What do you think? Looks awesome. And what do you say we move on to our build a figure? I'm ready. I think you're ready too. First of all, let's take a look at how great these look and then we'll move on. Look how sick these look. Unbelievable. Look at that. All right, let's move on. What do you say? And you know what? I may have gotten a little bit ahead of myself because I definitely have been having a lot of fun comparing these action figures. And so here is Spider Gwen, is Ghost Spider. Uh, here we are, Spider Woman. And this one does not have the hood permanently affixed, which we could, but um, just so you can compare. I'm gonna bring this out, and these were the colors I was talking about. Look at that. And then there's the shoes. There we are. So I'm gonna bring this out so you can see. Super cool, right? Look at that. There we are, let's get it in focus. So that looks cool. So I'm definitely digging that. Pretty neat, huh? Very cool. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and move on. And you know what? I think I may have done it again, again, and not given you the barcode. So, <laughs> here we are. This is the one for our um, ghost spider. Venomized spider going. Okay, now let's officially move on. What do you say? All right, and from this set, we have the last action figure, but it's not gonna be the total last action figure we're gonna review from overall this set because that would be again Marvel's Toxin which we'll do after the Build-A-Figure but let's wrap up our Build-A-Figure set and then we will do that. What do you say? This one says R for right leg. This one doesn't say anything but it's clearly that arm. This is the right arm. Bring this here. Look at that. There we go. Let's go ahead and bring right here where it says L. So that's for the left leg. Have that right here. Let's have the head. And we have other hands. That we can swap out, right? So that's cool. And that is our complete Venom. Look at that. I'm um, sorry. Venom pool. It looks pretty sick. Okay, so let's get to building. And let's get a little closer here. Let's get our shot nice and tight. There we are. And let's start by doing the 
Let's see, nothing crazy here, right? So let's pop in this shoulder. Man, look how massive this arm is. Okay, so let's pop in this shoulder. Look how huge this action figure is already. Just as a comparison, there's Iron Spider. So let's pop on this left leg. Oh, cool. Good. I'm glad it's going to be nice and tight there. Because I don't want it to be loose. Okay. Let me see if I have to push this down. Just didn't know if that was attached that way. There we go. It kind of clicked when it went in. So that's perfect. Again. The small legs, big arms, look at that. Okay. Let's see, does this just go literally over this right here and clip on or what's the deal? I think so. I think we literally just go like that. So we will try that. See if it goes on. Which it appears to be. Okay, cool. There we are. Looks like it went on. And let's go ahead and get this head. Look at that. Let's get in focus here, though. <laughs> there we go. And there's a little hood. Perfect. So let's just pop that on right there. And this looks amazing. And you know what? I don't know if we're gonna need these hands, but let's go ahead and take a quick look at them real quick in case we um, decide to bring out the guns or the swords. But yeah, I like the texture. I like how they're kind of veining out right there. So it kind of looks like symbiote with claws. So we'll put that aside. Look how cool this looks right here. Look at that. Good. It's good in um in focus and then take some pictures. There we are. Okay, so this head sculpt is really cool and it moves back really far, believe it or not. Look at that. Really far forward, really far down. It tilts slightly, turns pretty well. The tongue, it's a purple tongue, soft. You definitely don't want to crack off the bottom part of the jaw. This belt right here is, um, it's just placed on there. It's not like, see it moves, in other words. That's something you definitely need to know. Um, the shoulder clicks as it turns, but it feels nice and tight as it turns. Look at that. And because it hits right here, you do have some restrictions about how far out it can go. If you put it out like that, it definitely moves pretty well. We have a single joint right here at the elbow and it moves really smooth. So it brings you into about a 90 degree angle. Look at that. And the shoulder does turn, but so does it right here at the high part of the bicep. Look at that. So that's cool. Um, the wrists turn really smooth and they go back and forth. Look at these claws. And then his like wrist shackles, they, uh, they turn independently. Look at that. So we can definitely have him looking like big, like a Hulk. So that's cool. Let's see. I like this emblem right here. The legs move, you know, a lot further forward than I thought, even though they're not necessarily a 90 degree angle. Um, he's got a pretty solid ab crunch. Look at that. Turns at the waist. Let's see, it turns on the high part of the thigh. Man, this is a really um, good articulation right here at the knee. Big, chunky knee. And it clicks as it moves. You definitely don't want these loose. Look at that. Um, the legs move really well, especially for being, you know. Um, oops, make sure you don't get your finger caught in that because that will pinch it pretty bad. Okay. See, I'm not. Okay, there we go. It's like ankles aren't moving a whole lot, but they're clicking so they're tight which is good with this 
big heavy figure. Ah, I can't get this one on. This big heavy figure. There we go. You definitely don't want loose ankles. It's not going to stand up well. There we are. So, it's definitely top heavy. And then, if he's leaning too far back, he's going to fall. So, let's see what we can do about fixing his feet. Have him leaning a little bit forward. Let me see. Let me get him posed. Okay, great. So, just kind of have him leaning forward-ish. And um, just moved his feet from here, like, in a little bit. And then, I'm sure you want to see what it looks like. If we replace his hand, oh, wow. So this would come off. Let's put this back on like this. And you see where that just needs to insert right there. Okay, perfect. And interestingly enough, this joint moves differently. If you notice it moves up and down here instead of in and out. So if we take one of these swords out and place it right here, let's cram it in there. Look at that. And so that looks pretty sick. Look at that. So we got this venom claw going, and then the sword. So look at that. Doesn't that look awesome? So I'm totally digging it. Look at that. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Does this look absolutely incredible? Let me get some pictures here. And there's definitely not going to be any um, UPC for this one. Because you can't buy this one just by itself. Look at that. That looks pretty sick. Awesome. So guys, what do you think? Let me show you this whole set. Looks absolutely incredible. And let's get a let's get some poses from this. And then you let me know in the comments below if you want us to move on to Marvel's Toxin. Okay? Let's get them all posed up together. What do you say? Okay. Alright, friends, what do you think about this? Look how absolutely incredible these action figures look. Look how we have them all like in this big battle sequence, about to rumble. Looks so great. Let's get ready to rumble! Yeah, they look great. So, man, I'm so excited to add these to our collection. And so, what do you say we move on? Man, look how great that looks. What do you say we move on to do Marvel's Toxin? Right? Awesome, let's set that aside and let's get all set up so that we can move on over to Marvel's Toxin. What do you say? All right, and here we go. Got everybody lined up all nice and incredible right now. I'm digging all of these action figures. The set is absolutely unreal. And let's keep going. All right, so. Without further ado, let's do Marvel's Toxin. And look how incredible Toxin looks. Um, there's a lot of glare because of all the plastic, clearly, in this box. So it looks like there's a plastic here, the window. Then there's a plastic covering them on top. And then a plastic underneath. So, um, and that looks like it might be his back there. So, interesting. There might be some assembly required. Look how incredible this... Um, this art looks right here. It's kind of interesting because he almost looks like a, a can of like V8 juice that just went crazy. <laughs> or um, 
Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, but anyway, let's take a look over here and see uh, this, this box looks absolutely incredible. So let's see what it says back here, the write-up for Toxin. And man, look at all this going on here. Got these tendrils coming off and they all, it looks like they have mouths of their own. That looks wicked. And you know what? Maybe these teeth, maybe we can just customize those to paint them yellow, I'm sorry, white-ish, off-white, with a green mouth. That would look awesome. So let's see what it says here. I guess kind of yellowish, look like that. All right, so it says, Marvel's Toxin, the 1,000 symbiote in a lineage that includes Carnage and Venom. Toxin is feared by many to be the strongest and most dangerous. Yep, and if you followed, you know, Toxin's um, pretty incredible. And there was a time where Carnage and Venom like teamed up against him and he defeated both of them. But um, let's get it open. Let's take a look. I'm so excited to get them open. And just to show you like, this is definitely one of the best waves of Marvel Legends ever. Wow, look at this. Okay, some stuff already fell out, look at that. <laughs> and here's the package. I love that like ink and web spatter. And wow, okay, here, here's all the levels. And this came trying to figure out, I mean, it, it really doesn't matter, I guess, but I was like, how was, there we go. So this came right here, and it was sitting in the back somewhere. And like, let's see, there we go. So I guess it was sitting back there. Set that aside, take this cover off of Toxin. And look how sick this looks. Man, he's even open in the back so that he fits. So let's set this aside over here this aside over here these parts are attached wow look at that and then we still have his back and look at those bulging muscles in his back so set that aside and let's see what all we got here let's set this over here let's set this over here oh this one's actually in this little hole and Wow, look at this. Okay, so let's assemble him, and then we'll move on. Wow, look how this looks. Let's pop that right on in there. Okay, we're gonna line it up, and it clicked. So I think we're good. Let's see. I guess we're always gonna have this little gap. Okay, as long as it stays on, it's all that matters. Let's see, man, we got this crazy stuff going on right here. This crazy stuff going on right here. This appears to have a shape that fits, if you notice right here. Let me zoom in and make sure I'm in focus. The shape looks like it's almost round with a flat part. We can fit it right there. There we go, look. That's great right there. And then this piece is more square, even though it's not an exact square. There we are. This appears to fit right on in here. One way or another. There we go. Look at that. Man, that looks wild. And look at all these. It's like Little Shop of Horrors, Audrey 2. <laughs> look at that. Incredible, because they're like little Venus flytraps almost, with a tongue. <laughs> All right, that looks cool. What about the rest of this? I'm like, where do these go? Now I'm looking for, oh, they attach more on here. This says A, and there's an A right there. Look at that, didn't notice it right away. There we are. So this clearly, where's the flat part? Goes in here. Unbelievable, look at that. And this part says nothing. <laughs> and oh, there's a B there, but I'm like, where's the B? There it is on the side. 
Okay, cool. So we're gonna put this pointy part up. And that is a ridiculously insane amount of uh, stuff coming off of him. Look at that. I thought it was gonna be more up because the picture made it look more up, but it's more like back. Interesting. So I love the idea. I don't know how I feel about the execution yet because it's just too far back at an angle. I would love for it to be like more in other places other than just that. So, all right. So now let's actually start taking a look at um, our figure. And let's look at this head sculpt. Man, this head sculpt looks wild. Look at that. So we got the green tongue, we got the green mouth, got the black eyes with the, the yellow in the middle. The tongue looks like it's, you know, almost like a taffy being pulled out here. But it definitely looks sick. Let's see how far back we can get the head to go. Really far back, actually. Look at that. And how far down. Really far down. We can turn. We can pivot a little. So look at that. So that looks wild. Looks great, actually. Okay. Let's see. As far as for the arms, the arms move really smooth. Look at that. How far back do they move? Oh! I guess far back enough to pop it out by accident. <laughs> okay, there we go. So let's say about a 90 degree angle before it, you end up popping it out. It moved definitely like a Build-A-Figure. And then here, you need to be really careful here. I'm very mindful. because I'm going to push this back and I don't want to pinch that off. Now obviously it looks like it may not reach all the way over there. But again, I've pinched off um, stuff like that before on other action figures. And the, all it took was once to learn my lesson. So, all right. Let's see. It moves on the upper part of the bicep. It also has what appears to be a single joint right here. And this one's clicks and it's harder to move. Listen to that. Okay, so it's definitely not loose. So we come to about a 90 degree angle. This is ah, almost a mirror image. And be careful not to pinch your finger in there because that will hurt. Okay, the wrists go back and forth. Move really well. And looks like we have a big clicking um, ab crunch. And look at that. that looks wild. He can put his head up like this. That looks crazy. Look at this. And look at these hands. Hands look awesome. They definitely look like um, like they're from the mold of Monster Venom. So I would think so. I'm gonna bring them out here in a minute and we're gonna see. So it looks like we got a little bit of airbrush kind of fading even though I got some paint kind of where it shouldn't be. He's definitely veining out here, look at that. And it looks so great. And I would definitely say this is more than likely the mold the body mold for um, um, Monster Venom. It is incredibly muscular back. Look at the legs. You got like solid black legs, but of course veining out. And let's see how well they move. It moves pretty decent, especially because they're big chunky legs. But if I put his back straight, he's not at a 90 degree angle. He's not. Luckily his legs move up a little bit, but um, the legs don't go straight out either. Um, let's see, moves in the high part of the thigh. Legs go a decent amount out. But it looks like they don't come any further in than this because they hit right there. Um, so we got two big uh, pl uh, chunky places where the knee has a double joint, which is good because it in has increased mobility. Look at that, or articulation I should say. Again, don't pinch your finger there. And it clicks when it moves. And we got what appears to be great articulation here in the ankle, ankles. And yeah, I would definitely say that this is a um, Monster Venom body. We're gonna put Monster Venom side by side. And again, these tendrils like, they just falling off. Let's see. Under Maybe I'm not putting it on right, but it does feel a little bit loose. Okay. So, I'll tell you what's going to determine whether or not this is like a Monster Venom body. 
Let's just do a side by side comparison. It sure looks like it. Let's take a look at this. There we are. The other feet, the legs, the upper part of the body. The difference appears to be the head because look at the hands. I'll bring this hand here and this hand here. And then same thing here. Let's bring this up and look at this. So it is obviously, but definitely still cool. You may not notice it right off the bat, but um, because the head scope and the paint and oops, <laughs> um, all this coming off them, but man, does that look crazy? Looks sick. They appear to be painting out the same way back there. So, what an incredible action figure, and what a pair to have! Look at that. It's like chuckling it up together. Okay, and you know what's pretty crazy is that I found my 2014 Tuxin. Look at this. And this appears to be a traditional Venom type body. Let me stand him up. He's even got those like boots type feet. Where, look at that. Dress shoes, boots, feet. <laughs> As opposed to these monster feet, which I've definitely come to love a lot more. And we'll see. Um, his joints are kind of a rubbery feeling. Look at this. So I'm going to set him up next to him so you can see definitely the size difference. And I was digging this toxin for the most part. But once I saw this new one, I mean there's no comparison. And the body mold, sorry I was fixing the feet, is just light years better. Look at this. What a difference. Not even close. Love this one. Look at that. Instead of fading from red to maroon, with an, you know, an okay head, now we have this sick, crazy, grotesque looking head with a big tongue and this huge body that looks absolutely incredible. Tendrils, barely, like a carnage one. And then look at this one. Just thousand of them almost coming off and so now we have some comparison there you can see where we have this venom definitely appears to be this venom mold right here so bring this venom back out and look just this one's like glossier and so on because it definitely appears to be if it's not the exact same very similar look at that we got you know similar shoes it would appear so maybe not the exact same ones but um, a very similar body type so anyway you'll notice how again oh the knee joint look how loose this is that's the unfortunate part so I'm gonna set this um, toxin right here I'm gonna put this venom right here and you can see just how much of an improvement these other ones are. Look at this. From this other body style. Look at that. Does that look absolutely incredible? Here's these two. And here's these two. But again, this movie Venom is legit. And that's definitely the one I'm digging the most. Then this Monster Venom sick. And you know what? I love the head sculpt here, so I ain't complaining about this comic book style um, Venom right here. But anyway, man, isn't that incredible? Okay, so I'm gonna remove this, and we're gonna take a look at only our figures from this set to wrap this up. What do you say? Let me get everybody in on this shot. Give me a moment, guys. Give me just a second. All right, and here we are, friends. Doesn't this look absolutely incredible? 
And if there's any more additions to this wave, this set, we will be definitely reviewing them, adding them to this video because, man, do these action figures look absolutely astounding. Yep, sorry, trying to stay in focus. <laughs> All right, but which ones were your favorites? Definitely would love to hear in the comments below. So guys, I wanna thank you for hanging out with us here today. This wave is unreal, incredible. But if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below, hit the notification bell next to it so you're notified every time we have a new video come up. Talk to us in the comments below, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know where in the world you are watching from and give us a big thumbs up if you like Venom and if you like these Marvel Legends action figures. So guys, until next time, thanks again for watching Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Peace.